In this video, I'll show you how I made this box mockup for my 100 plus ARBR resources pack with the help of Blender. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Rajat. On this channel, I make videos on programming, 3D development and ARVR. So if you are interested in this emerging domain, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you are already a subscriber, thanks a lot for your support. Let's first break down the box into two things. First is the structure of the box, which is basically a cube in Blender. Second is this graphic image that I created using Canva. Then you need to take this image and wrap it around the box. How we do it is using something called UV unwrapping. Let me show you how. So here in Blender, I have a cube that I'm going to convert into a box. You'll be able to see whatever keys I press over here in the left hand side. If I click on this object, this cube object, so you see that I click using my left click button in my mouse. I'm going to give this a structure of a box. How am I going to do that is press the S key and then press X to scale it along the X axis like that. All right, and now I'm going to give it a bit of height. So I'm going to press S and then Z to scale it along the Z axis, and then press S and then Y to scale it along the Y axis. And now if you press G and then Z, you can shift it like that. Right now the box, it, it looks a bit off the screen. So in order to see this cube a bit more clearly, what you're going to do is hold your middle mouse button and then just drag your mouse like that, right? So that this looks all right. And now hold shift and then hold the middle mouse button again to pan like that, right? Now use the combination. You can just keep on uh, using your middle mouse button to you know, keep looking at your object from different angles. So now you can select the object and go to the material properties. And from here, you select base color and select the dot icon over here, right? And then select image texture. And then you select open and then you find the image that you want to show over here on the queue. So I want to show this 100 ARVR resources pin. Now you already have the image texture here, but it doesn't show in the on the queue. So you might be wondering what's wrong. So we'll go over here and click viewport shading. Now see, you'll be able to see the image that you had. Now I want to adjust it a bit because it looks a bit off and it just doesn't look right. So what I'm going to do is go to UV editing mode and then first drag this like that and go to viewport shading again. Yeah, and bring this back again. And then you use your mouse wheel to zoom out a bit like that. All right, on the left hand side. Uh, make sure that you are in the edit mode on the right hand of your screen. And then you go to face select mode, all right. Click on this face and you see this little tile. You want to control it. So how you can control it is by going over here and clicking on UV select face mode. So to make sure your UV select mode is set to face. So click over here and then click on this tile and then you want to scale it up. So how you scale it up is by using the S button and then scale it like that. Now, if you want to scale it along the Y axis, so you press S and then Y like that. And then obviously you can do the same thing for the X axis as well. So you now you want to rotate this because it looks a bit, uh, it doesn't look right over here. So you press R and then press minus 90. Now I'm going to scale it a little bit more along the x-axis like that. And now it looks fine. All right. So with that done, we see the other sides of the box. And you see this face and this face and then this face, uh, even this face. So all these faces look a bit weird. Uh, I want it to be plain like this one, or maybe I want to bring the nightcube.comroad.com uh, link over here. And this one, I want to make it plain. So how do we make this plain? Let's say 
So you select the face and then you move this somewhere over here and then just you know scale it down like that. So that will make sure that this looks a solid purple color. It's not really solid because it has some shading over here. Now over here on the right hand side this face uh, I want this nikecube.comro.com to be um, on the on this side. So I'm going to select this style and then again position it and scale it according to how I want. So I'm pretty happy with this and I'm going to do the same thing over here on this side. And obviously you can do the same thing for the back side as well. Now anyway we are going to be rendering it from the front so it doesn't really matter how the back looks like. So that's done. Let's go back to the layout mode and then press the zero on your numpad. This is what the camera sees, all right? So you go to view and then click camera to view, enable this, and now you'll be able to control the camera according to the view. Hold shift and the middle mouse button, you'll be able to pan your camera like that. If you hold only the middle mouse button and drag, you can move around your mouse like that. Yeah. Now the resolution of this uh, camera, it's set to, you know, it's like a rectangle mode. So it's actually set to 1920 cross 1080. So how I know that is if you go over here to uh, output properties, you see resolution X is set to 1920 pixels and resolution Y is set to 1080 pixels. So I'm going to set this to 1080 so that it looks like a square like that. And now if I zoom in and then position it a bit how I want it to, yeah, this is what I want it to look like. So there we go. I'm pretty happy with this. I'm going to press render and then render image. Now I want you to observe something over here. First of all, the background is completely gray. It's not transparent. You want to make a note of that. And also, if you see this box over here on the left hand side, it's dark. And the lighting, it's it's not proper. It's just, you know, concentrating on just one part of the box sort of. So I want to fix that. Let's, let's fix the lighting first, all right. The first thing is to disable this camera to view option and then go back to the normal mode, all right. Make sure you are in the object mode. If you do not know how to do that, you can just uh, do it from over here, right? And now you press the light and go over here and select the bulb icon. And I'm going to change it to sun, all right? Now you you notice that there's nothing happening over here. Why is that? Is because this is the viewboarding viewport shading tab. You'll notice here that the light doesn't really affect uh, the box or the scene. So you want to switch from this material preview mode to render preview mode all right so this is what it looks like right right now the brightness is too much so i'm going to bring down the brightness by changing the strength to around 10 and this is much better and then what i'm going to do is duplicate the light so i can do that by holding shift and then pressing d so you duplicated it and now you can move it anywhere you want let's press r and then z to rotate it along the z-axis so now you, the light is falling on the left hand side of this box now let's press zero again to see what it looks like all right so i'm pretty happy with that let's go to render and render image all right this looks much better all right now again the problem is with the background so the background is gray i want it to be transparent completely transparent so how i can do that I can go over to the output properties. Oh, sorry, the render properties. I go to film and then check this transparent mode. Right. Once you enable this, uh, the transparent mode is active. So after a few adjustments, if you render it, this is what it looks like now. So it's a completely transparent image. So if you want to save it, you just go to image and save as. So you'll be able to save it wherever you want to. So it will be saved as a PNG file. So by default, when you render the image and you try to save it, it will be saved as a PNG file, all right? And that's because if you go to your um, output properties, 
you'll see the file format as PNG. Now you can change it to JPG, but I'm going to keep it as PNG because uh, that works for me. All right, that's how you create a box markup in Blender. Thanks for watching this video. Cheers and bye-bye.